Vamos. Shit in. It's so much better since you <laughs> fucked it up. <laughs> yeah, it's me, Jordan Simmons, the oh, one and only, undeniable. We are, are too undateable. Pro- what? Oh wait, no, I don't say you're undateable. I would say you are pro wrestling right. twitcher though. <laughs> oh, am I? Yep. And each and every week we bring are you guys you? a podcast. Yes, yes, I am. We have something in common. <laughs> Oh, nice. We're both pro wrestling twitchers. That's great. Yeah, we're two pro wrestling twitchers that uh, when we reform the crown, that's going to be on a t-shirt or something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, we bring you a podcast each and every week that's available anywhere you listen to podcasts because we're, I guess, a big deal now. And and yeah, so welcome. So, but... I mean, yeah, well, so, but welcome and thank you for joining us here today to the people live here at twitch.tv slash the crown twitch and the people that will listen on the audio platforms such as iTunes and Spotify and Google Podcasts and wherever you listen to this rubbish. YouTube. Oh yeah, YouTube, which you can look up. Uh, if you go to crowngamingyoutube.com, you can find it right there. Yes. <laughs> All right, well, so, you're Nathan. You're Nathan yes. J. How, That's uh, me, Ernie uh, S. Big old Ernathan. Yes. Oh, Ern- Ernathan, I'm going to name my fourth son that. <laughs> A really you, bad name. You I heard it you here. First. I don't. I don't think I'm going to get to four sons, and if I do, I'll probably be very upset and give one of them away. So don't worry. Oh, okay. Fair uh, enough. So, you going to give them to me or what? Do you want one? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> do you want? Do you want me to keep him until he's like ten and he can start doing housework and he can be like your little servant boy? No, because then they're like, from that age, they start being rebellious and stuff. Ten? Yeah. Hmm. Maybe, I guess. You weren't rebellious at 10? No, I mean, I know 10-year-olds. I year was rebellious olds, when I was like 6, dude. Like, I think you were rebellious coming out of the womb. Yeah. You're just holding, <laughs> scratching, and clawing, just destroying like, your mother's yeah. URI. Just like, I'm <laughs> not leaving, it's warm. <laughs> the doctor pulled me out and I slapped him right in the face. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to see if he cried. I was like, look at me, I'm the captain now. <laughs> do you think they have like a more humane way of doing that now besides slapping the baby I don't fucking know dude like, <laughs> like I feel like in 2020 science has come far I re- enough I really I really don't look into pregnancy and giving birth and all that kind of stuff because I have no interest in having kids well, well I mean I don't think you need to have an interest to be curious it's not like I've googled this a plethora of times and my, my search history is very very alarming <laughs> okay is there anything else that you want to tell us about you right now? Uh... I definitely, definitely did not kill small animals as a child and hide them under the <laughs> crawl space. All right, Jeffrey Dahmer, take it easy, dude. That's not just Jeffrey Dahmer, though. That's just a big serial killer trope. Yeah, it's a I lot think. of serial killers yeah. that do that. That's but an early I feel sign. Like Jeffrey Dahmer is a pretty famous serial killer, so I like naming him. Yeah, yeah. There's, a, It's weird. Jeffrey Dahmer, real sick fuck, but like, there's guys like the... BTK and stuff like that. They don't get the same shout, but they did way more damage. <laughs> yeah. What's that other guy again? Ted Bundy or Ted whatever? Bundy, yeah. Ted yeah. Bundy's got like a count of like 30 or more. Yeah. And there was one night he like this took a gruesome turn, thus oh, pun intended. <laughs> but there was one night where he went into like a sorority house and just went room to room. Yeah, wasn't that one of his first nights? No, that was one of his last because that was the one where oh. I think they ended up catching him at some point. Oh, okay. I like. I do remember reading about that, like about him doing that. Yeah, and then he represented himself. There's a documentary about it on Netflix. Yeah. He, re- he represented himself in like uh, court and stuff, and like by the yeah, end, yeah, because he had he had studied law like a couple of times, I think. Yeah, and uh, so like I think he went to school for law. He was big into politics yeah. and stuff like that. And then by the end of the trial, he like was so charming and won over the like the judge so much that the judge was like, "I really wish, young man, that you had." picked a different route in life and i'm sorry things have come this way you probably would have been great one day at practicing law or something like that and he's like <laughs> and he's like but unfortunately death penalty <laughs> <laughs> 
And then also, like, while Dahmer was on death row, like, he helped profile serial killers for, like, the FBI. Like, I think it, yeah. was, it was BTK, actually, that they were like, hey, what do you think of this? And he's like, yeah, your guy probably is like this. He probably does this. He probably yeah. visits the body after about this well, that, long. That's, that's the thing, though, because Dahmer is also, like, kind of a unique case in the sense that he genuinely did feel regret for doing what he did. Yeah. Right? Like, he... Like he freaked out about it and stuff and he was just like i like i just can't control it like i need to be locked up you know what i mean <laughs> like yeah he was kind of like i get it like you should put me away because this isn't yeah. gonna change and i know it's not a good thing it's just what i do yeah so so anyway uh, uh enough about How's my death. week been yeah exactly <laughs> you just read my mind it's almost like we do that every every week now yeah <laughs> my week's been all right man um that didn't sound sad actually. at all. What? That didn't sound sad at all. My, be- my week's been all right. I mean, it's just the same old grind. You know, I go to work, I stream and everything. I stream just second seven on Friday. That fucking bumping I, and grinding. Yeah, dude. I like, I, I streamed uh, Crash Bandicoot 2 and 3 mm-hmm. on Saturday. I did an eight-hour stream. Jesus where I finished Christ. both of those games. Fuck yes. Oh, uh, you finished them? Yeah. Oh, I took your title as a complete joke. I did not think you were going to finish. I fucking finished him, dude. I'm a real gamer, okay? <laughs> I'm for real. I don't fucking... I don't fumble fuck around, all right? I get down to the nitty-gritty. I, I use speedrun tactics and shit. I actually did. <laughs> I, no, I saw you on... Uh, what is it? The Great Descent or the one on the, with the bridges? Sky High, whatever it is? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Were using, I saw you using the rope technique, and I was like, my yeah. boy. Yeah, I like I did that one in the first crash, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I did like a speedrun tactic in the second crash. I don't know if I know any of them. Uh-huh. But in the third one, like I used a speedrun tactic against Dingo Dial, like one of the bosses. So I like I beat him senseless, dude. It was no problem. But um, <laughs> yeah, I, like I beat that. Then uh, Sunday, I went to visit my dad as usual, and then Hell yeah. we started watching Breaking Bad. Monday. I um I played Battlefront with the boys. Yesterday was Tuesday. I streamed Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, which was really fun. Like it's like another one of those games, like sort of similar to The Witcher, mm-hmm. in that like I've played it before, I just never finished it. Wasn't that free on PlayStation Network last month? Right? I no. have no fucking clue because I, think... I am never on my PlayStation anymore. <laughs> oh, did you play it on PC? Yeah. Oh, okay play like everything on pc now so you're just a master race gamer now yeah for sure dude i have accepted my fate as I, one of the master race if i can be honest ever <laughs> since i got my setup properly done and everything like that i've had a much more desire to play games on my pc than my console like at yeah. least as far as streaming because it's easier and it's more organized like i do still prefer console games but like i'll it's, just say i just gotta just save easier. that for me time yeah, I mean, like, it's just easier to set up, and I'll just hook up my PlayStation controller to my computer, and it'll work. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you know I mean, because Steam is the tits. Like, it's awesome. Mm. Um, but then, like, today, like, I had a big day at work. I, I was awake for a long time. And w- when I drove home, I had a traffic jam, so that sucked. So it took me, like, two hours to get home. Oh, that's the worst. Yeah. So uh, that's basically been my week. How about um, yours, AJ? Mine has been eventful uh, for the first time in a long time. Like uh, my my good old bunny uh, Goo Dulac called me yesterday, and we had a nice little <laughs> okay. nice little chit chat. Or no, it was maybe the day before, and uh, we brushed up on some things. He he gave me some things to do and to look into, and we had a good chit chat, and it was fun. Caught up with him. I haven't done that in a bit. Uh, Unfortunately, had uh, a passing in the Maryland wrestling community, which was real tough. Uh, I didn't know him all that well, but, you know, this. Oh, big... I think I saw people post about him. Yeah, yeah. big shout out to uh, Bruiser up in heaven. If there's a heaven or whatever else, wherever his respective afterlife may be, he deserves all the best. Uh, I didn't really know him all that well. I wasn't very close with him. I've only got to work around him with him a few times. But a lot of buddies and very close friends of mine have all been brought up by him. And yeah. Maryland wrestling is notorious for being like a bubble. Uh, kind of like okay. Holland or Belgium is at times, right? Like where guys sure. start there and they stay there and they don't really branch out and they think, you know, they might be the big shit. Uh, yeah. Maryland was notorious for that. And like even 
at, at one point, even like the big company here, MCW was kind of notorious for that, but Bruiser kind of came back. He took over the school and he, he really helped people out. He got people out of there. He was like, no, don't just stay here. Go on to bigger and better. And, and really helped people branch out. He team he trained guys like Leo Rush from the ground up, and and yeah, because I saw like I saw Leo tweet about it. And, like he was really emotional about it. So yeah, and uh, yeah. he unfortunately was diagnosed with like leukemia about a year and a half ago, and I think uh, it, came, right. it came back like stronger. And he was just like, you know what? Like uh, from what I understand, he was like, it's it's time to go home. It's time to be comfortable. And he he slipped away peacefully. So you know, big shout out to him and everybody affected oh, by okay. that. Okay. A, okay. That's a real bummer because again, although I didn't know him well, he's not like a dear friend of mine or anything. Like I have so much respect for all the help he did for just the sport within our state. Because you know, I take yeah for for the longest time, like I would leave Maryland to wrestle other places, and everybody couldn't believe I was from Maryland because they didn't know of anybody leaving the state. <laughs> and Bruiser made sure people got out the door, made sure people got opportunities. Like he's he's the reason a lot of people coming from uh like the. What's, what's their names uh, there's a tag team in ring of honor that was trained by him you know leo rush like i said a lot of people have come up through yeah. him and so that was a real shame uh my dad is still home and recovering from neck surgery so i've been running around doing stuff for him i've been had a very hectic life lately which is fine <laughs> which is fine there's more of the same yeah it's good honestly like i don't think like hectic can be annoying but i don't think it's a bad thing yeah it's, it's better only, than having absolutely nothing to do. Yeah, I mean. yeah, it's only bad when it doesn't pay off in a sense, which is a couple things yeah. like uh, with wrestling not being a thing anymore. I've had to rely on other like means of finance, which you know about. I don't really talk about all that much because, again, first and foremost, I've always the past couple of years have been a pro wrestler for a living. But with that yeah. not being a thing, I've had to like back into some other stuff that I used to do. Uh, still not full time, still my own schedule and everything, but that's definitely died off a good bit since Maryland's getting worse and worse with the whole COVID thing. So that's been stressful, but I've been making do. <laughs> so fair enough. Just been bumping and grinding and training, and uh, we played Doki Doki Literature Club all the way through on this on the stream yesterday. Oh yeah, that, you actually finished it? Yeah, that, like, I couldn't be there for, until the end because it was getting really late for me. So. Yeah, it took about six and a half hours, but played the whole thing through. It was a lot of fun. It was a blast. Uh, I want to thank Team Triple Jump for having suggested it on one of their videos. Because uh, oh, it, okay, it was great. Uh, the video will probably be up Friday on YouTube. So, uh, crowngamingyoutube.com. Uh, warning, though, anyone who deals with, you know, and there is a warning at the beginning of the game, but I was too far past when we started for anybody to see it. There is a, war <laughs> there is a warning if you deal with, you know, anxiety, depression, mental health issues, or self harm issues, and things of that nature. If you're kind of. If you're privy to being triggered by that kind of stuff, please, please don't watch the playthrough. I don't want anybody being negative. Or play the game. Or play the game. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> definitely don't do that. Uh, I don't want anybody being negatively affected by any content we have on the channel. Again, it was a lot of fun. It was interesting. My reactions, I'm sure, were pretty funny. But uh, it is some very touchy and hard to deal with subject matter. So please don't, don't force yourself through it if if you don't need to. It's 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 hard to watch at times. Uh, but it was it was a good time overall. So. So that. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Sounds that's good. That's kind of been. That's kind of been my week. I think. Yeah. I had. The, right. I had the house without Kelly for a few days, so that felt weird. Um, Must be very nice, right? I mean, it's nice to not like, and she knows this, but it's nice to not have someone depend on you solely for a couple of days. Not that she depends on me solely. We're both very independent people in our space, but wh where we're living sure. right now. We don't really have the choice, and if she needs to go do something, I live out in bumfuck nowhere, so I have to take her there. So it was it was nice to just like be solely set in my own individual schedule, and then at night I just you know slumped down on my mattress that's next to the couch, you know, aka couchress, and yeah. I started working my way back through Death Stranding. So I might finish that within the next couple of days. So that'll be cool. Oh, okay. Where what, what are you planning on like streaming next? Uh, I'm still playing near Automata. We got three days left a week of that. We've we've gone a good way through it. The story's gotten pretty interesting. Uh, some more Fallout New Vegas, especially now that my computer's oh, yeah, you're still yeah, you're still streaming Fallout. That's right. Yeah, that. Then we'll probably do some more Magic the Gathering coming up. Try to smite up with you guys. So that's kind of the general gist. I'm not sure which long form game we're gonna play after near Automata. I might do GTA mm. Five just because I need to get that shit finished after being six years out or however long. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay but we'll see fair enough i would love I mean, to didn't you didn't you play gta on the stream with martino once i did that was on my old channel that was like 
three or four years ago now. So I'll have to I'll have to dig that up and put that out for you guys. That was also the night that Tim got real pissed on me because I not pissed on me. What the fuck am I saying? Uh, <laughs> yeah, give me that golden shower. Yeah, bro. Tim was just like, "Oh, you can act like this, huh?" Just just whipped it out. It was real weird, but yeah, uh, he was just like, "We're in Germany." <laughs> Might as well do as the Germans do. Oh no, that's not what that means. No, God, that's that. Yearns, uh, Yearns' opinions are completely relevant to himself and represent like himself opinions. and him only. It's just facts. No, 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 no. It is statistically proven, dude. You got to say allegedly, or we're gonna get sued by it Germany. Is statistically proven, we're gonna get sued by Germany by the entire country of Germany. We're gonna yes. Get sued. Germany is going to sue us. Okay. You know how strict they it are with the rules. It is statistically proven, allegedly, that Germans love golden and brown showers. Where are you? Where, where's your sources? I, I must know. <clears throat> uh, life. Oh, okay, cool. That's enough for me. <laughs> life is my source, my friend. Yeah, but anyway, that was the night Tim got mad at me because I like took up the whole apartment to do that. And like yeah. he didn't want to be on camera, but I put him on for like a second. But like he seemed like he was into it. It was a miscommunication, but he got real pissed. That was the most pissed he's ever been at me. But then we got over it, and it was it was Did fine. He slap you? No. He was, more, <laughs> he was more pissed than that. Oh, okay. He's because too those to slap you. Yeah, because those Tim slaps they're not all that hard. But he was pissed enough at that point that it was beyond that. Because if he was gonna hit me, he wanted to hit me. Yeah. But it didn't come to that. And to be fair, like he wasn't completely in the right. But that's for that's neither here nor there. <laughs> yeah, Tim is very camera shy. Yeah, what ironic, right? Yeah, it's like maybe don't be a wrestler, dude. <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> to be honest, I feel like if he heard that, he'd probably be like, "Yeah, you're right." Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he would probably think it's funny. Yeah. Uh. But yeah, so that was that was my week, and Tim, you know what? Tim Tim loves all of my jokes. Well, maybe not all of them, but mm. like I would say, like seventy percent. Uh, I would say seventy percent. I stand I by that. I don't know where you're getting your facts today, but they're real skewed. This is fake news. <clears throat> well, I never said this was a fact, actually. Ah, that's why, ah. I, said, that's why I said I think. Okay. Mm, okay. That's a you have to listen. To the details. No, I AJ. don't. You have I to don't read between the fine lines. No, no, no. See, I can't read to begin with, so I don't expect you. <laughs> I don't expect you shouldn't expect me to read between anything fine. <laughs> Fair enough. I understand that point. Yeah. Do you know how torture it was playing Doki Doki Literature Club yesterday? I had to read for six hours, half hours straight. <laughs> you just said you had a lot of fun with it. Now I did, but but I you did, but to be honest, stories. I did, but to be honest, I thought it was a little bit more interactive going into it. So, oh, okay. Because I thought, like, in other like dating sims or point and click games or whatever else, like you kind of travel around a map, or whatever else, but not this one. It's like very isolated. So, like twenty minutes in, I was just like, "Oh fuck, am I literally just gonna be like clicking and reading this entire fucking time?" And like the only interaction yes. you do is making a few choices and like writing a poem by selecting words. So I was kind of like, "Oh man, I'm gonna." Really gonna have to brush up on my grade three reading right now. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, I think reading's pretty easy, bro. But you know. Oh, it is. I just didn't expect to do it for almost seven hours <laughs> to an audience, which is Fair very enough. judgy of my use of the English language. I mean, rightfully so as well. Hey, it's it's fair, but like I said. Grammar wise, I fuck it up a lot. But as far as reading and speech and understanding the English language, I've got this. For the most part, yes. Yeah. And yesterday I did a damn fine job. Only stumbled stumbled over myself like a handful of times. I've stumbled over myself more in this podcast today than I did yesterday. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean that's that's just the pressure that I bring to the pod. Yeah, you make sh you make my knees weak. Yeah, put that pressure on people. Because <laughs> they, they, people know I'm judging. Yeah, Jones gonna put that belly on you. <laughs> what? The belly? Yeah, you never heard that? No. Put that belly on the back? <laughs> I mean, in this context, I'm, I'm relating it to the, you know, putting someone under pressure, but usually it's the sex thing. Ah, okay. No, I've never heard that. Mm. I don't I have know. sex, okay? I'm <laughs> asexual. 
Mm, you so, like them. I'm oh. asexual and an incel, so I know nothing about sex. So you don't even sleep with yourself. Exactly. I that's don't a, sleep. That's a lonely life. It's true. You just, don't. I, to I be just fair. don't. <laughs> I stay awake for hours on end <laughs> until I can't stay awake anymore. And I'll wake up in a pool of sweat, disgusted that I fell asleep. You should see somebody. <laughs> <clears throat> I yeah, I probably actually should. But yeah, it's just I hear I hear a little bit of dank weed helps with that. Maybe maybe I, you should turn to drugs. <laughs> maybe you should be drug. I've been boy. thinking about it. Yeah, I think I should do some cocaine. Mm, I, I'm not sure if you heard this. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong, but I've heard that might be an upper. Oh really? Yeah yeah. Yeah, what heard, the uh, fuck was that? That was my ring. Oh, uh, were you so, pi <laughs> so pissed you fucking threw the ring? No, I was just playing with it and it fell out of my hand. <laughs> um, did I ever tell you the story about how I almost did cocaine? I thought you were about to say, have you ever heard the story of Darth Plagueis the Wise? <laughs> <laughs> no, because I would say, have you ever heard the tragedy? Oh. The Wise? It's a tragedy. Oh, I'm sorry. Fuck. It's an old Sith legend. Hmm. It's not but, something the Jedi would tell you. But no, you have not told me the story, and now I'm emphatically curious. Okay, so uh, as you are aware, I am sometimes active on Tinder. <laughs> yeah. So this one time... I love I your Tinder, Tinder, by the way. <laughs> you love I, my Tinder? Yeah, I love being there while you Tinder, because it's just <laughs> a shit show. <laughs> yeah, it is. But um, so I... Um, so I was tindering, you know, I matched with this girl. And then, you know, she and I were just talking. Like, I did my usual, like, kind of opening shtick where I go, like, oh, you look like you're into Doritos or whatever the fuck. Because, you know, <laughs> who doesn't like Doritos? Can I keep my feet in your closet? <laughs> that was another good one, yeah. yeah. I, I just stole them all from uh, Eric Andre and Hannibal Perez. But, um, <laughs> but anyway... Like, we were talking, and I could tell, like, oh, the conversation's dying. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah. So I just went, I just, I just told her, you look like a girl that likes doing drugs. <laughs> and she was like, yeah, you're not wrong. And I was just like, yeah, I bet you do cocaine all the time. And she was like, yeah, I actually do. I was just like, oh shit. <laughs> like, oh like, no. Not... Stranger danger. Mommy, mommy, mommy. I screwed <laughs> yeah, it's up. Not really, it's not really deep response i was expecting <laughs> so i just went like so um you ever want to like you just want to do cocaine and fuck and she was like yeah sure <laughs> i was like all right when do you want to meet up and then she ghosted me I was oh like, you fucking coward dude you disappointment little... yeah exactly i was like you little weasley coward <laughs> we could have done cocaine and had sex and it probably would have been okay yeah probably would have been, uh a mediocre story with a with a huge build-up yeah <laughs> i feel I, I feel like like the the punchline of the story is good so it's definitely not it's definitely not bad it would have been better if i'd actually had done cocaine and had sex which that's, i would have done that's if arguable. it had been up to me but well it would have been better for like a story perspective yeah. yeah, I mean, I don't know if the experience itself would have been good because I, I don't know because I haven't done it, you yeah. know. But like, how will I know unless I've done it? So it makes me I, curious. Fuck, I gotta get back on that Tinder grind. I, get, makes... I just, I just gotta make my profile. Anybody want to do cocaine and have sex? <laughs> oh my god! My actual profile right now is thick thighs save lives, and I've got one foot in the grave. <laughs> And then, and then, like, sometimes I'll get girls going, like, I'm ready to save lives or, like, whatever the fuck. Like, you know, something like that. Hell yeah. And I'll respond with, like, a prequel gif, and then they don't respond anymore. I appreciate that. I think that's the best way to go about it. <laughs> yeah. I, like, I legit, like, once, like, responded, like, I <laughs> I, got, I got a message like that. I responded with a gif of Obi-Wan in Attack of the Clones going, that's good to hear.
<laughs> you know, and I was like, hoping it was. Real. I was hoping it was Anakin just going. I hate sand. <laughs> but that doesn't make sense as a response. It sure it does. I like. I wish like there there aren't like a lot of general grievous gifts on Tinder, unfortunately. Because if that was the case, I would just like I would just go like with every. Wait, so <laughs> Tinder has its own gift selection? Well, it has like. It uses like some service, but it's it's not the same as like on other. Let me actually check. Yeah, like I've got a shitload of matches anyway. So. Oh man, way to uh, brag about it. Yeah, I know. It uses Tenor or whatever. Okay. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, but there's like, <clears throat> it's still limited. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, as to the gift selection, I just want to like, if a girl like hits me up respond with a gif of general grievous going jedi scum and then <laughs> see where it goes from there you did a really good grievous impersonation like almost maybe it's the mic but i almost feel like there was a little hint of automatron or something in your voice <laughs> that was probably the microphone yeah was, it, i was getting too close yeah. maybe when i listen to the replay that just won't be a thing but at the moment <laughs> i fucking dug it yeah also, like the whole topic got me curious because, like, I remember you didn't really ever have drink or get drunk until we hung out that one time, and you know, yeah. I might have, I might have encouraged it a little bit, which I'm still proud of to this day. Well, you and like six no, me, other people, me, but... me, but I was, I was your closest friend there, so it was. <laughs> That's true. That's true. But uh, it made me wonder, like, when you were a kid, were you like one of the kids that was just like, I'm never gonna do anything bad? Yeah, because it took you oh, a while no. to actually drink. No, because like I like I drank before. Like when I turned sixteen, I started fucking hitting up clubs, and I started drinking and shit. But um, I just, like I just hated the taste of alcohol. Yeah, which is like why I didn't drink. It's not because I didn't want to get drunk, or it's because like ah, I'm a fucking alcohol bad bad or whatever. Um, it was just like oh, alcohol is fucking disgusting. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna drink it. That was literally all there was to it. And then I was also just like, I thought like going out to clubs and everything was just boring. It is. It's hella lame. I mean, There's too many people. They're all on top of you. It's loud and they're all stupid. Well, it's also the thing, like, especially like when you're that age of like 16 and all of that kind of stuff. I think even if it's like subconsciously, there's a pressure put on you that like you go out, you, you fucking, you get laid. Yeah, you know I mean, like you gotta get late, you gotta score. Yeah, or else chips. it's like a quote unquote you know I mean? unsuccessful or else you're a night. failure. Or, yeah. yeah, exactly. Which is dumb. So, yeah, it's super dumb because the whole thing is like <laughs> nine times out of ten that doesn't fucking happen. Yeah, no, definitely not. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, and um, but then like th that was that was the thing that was a bit, like a big turning point for me because like obviously like I was a nerdy dude and everything as well. Um, was it the big? turning point for me where I just like kind of stopped giving a shit and mm -hmm. stopped like being shy and that sort of thing is when I like was actually like in a club and I looked around and I saw like I actually analyzed like the groups of girls and <laughs> they were all just like I like I just looked at them and I was just like oh they're all as like insecure and shy as all the dudes what the fuck is the fucking problem yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's I mean, your so. deal yeah so that um yeah that's my story about that i guess mm. you got any stories about that kind of shit no i just remember as a kid i was like oh i'm gonna be straight edge and like <laughs> i was like i'm not gonna do this i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna do this and that ended probably around 19 years old and but only like slightly i was like okay i had this one shot because like a veteran told me to do it so i did it but i'm not gonna drink anymore and then i didn't for a while and let me tell tell you guys something uh that's changed <laughs> definitely not mr straight edge anymore i'm definitely not out of well i i don't do anything illicitly bad or horrible or anything like that but i'm not mr goody two shoes like oh, you did cocaine oh my goodness like i've never done it i'm not going to but like i'm not mr goody two shoes like i'll never do this i'll never do that i'm mr like yeah, I'm not going to do anything stupid, but, like, not everything is the after-school special it was made out to be. You know, that kind of thing. Sure. I mean, just, like, from my perspective, 
you're still one of the most like goody two shoes people I know. What? Yeah. What? Really? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> All right. You have to realize, AJ. Oh yeah. I most mean, pe have... most people are filthy. That's true. Most I'm people are a... animals. I'm just a good old wholesome boy that you know. I just want to yeah. see everybody do good. You know. You don't even know anything about our topic of this week, Rule Thirty Four. That's a fucking hell of a segue. You give yourself a goddamn Barry Horowitz pat on the back for that one, you son of a bitch. Yeah, no problem, dude. But yeah, no, so, that was mentioned in my chat yesterday, playing Doki Doki Literature yes. Club, available on Crown Gaming, uh, YouTube.com. And yeah. I had no I fucking idea what that meant. And then I Googled rule space 34, and it was just like some computer bullshit. And then I saw how everybody was typing it, and I put it together, and I was like, oh, Lord. Yeah, it's nice, dude. So... I have come up with the four subjects for people to vote on this week for us to talk about, right? Yeah. The four subjects were, I'm going to go from least popular to most popular or like least voted on to most voted on. Uh, Sam Elliott. That which, was the least popular? Yeah, it was the least voted, which all... kind of made me sad. That's very disappointing. It only got hog 3%? Shots. Yeah. Second one is hog shots. Third one is facial hair. Which I don't know why I put that there, but I can't believe it's like in second place. But number one by like a large margin is Rule Thirty Four, and honestly, like I voted for Hog Shots, of course, because I wanted to talk about sweet pictures of dudes on motorcycles. But I guess we're not oh. going to talk about that now. Um, also, by so the way, once I saw this win. I already made the graphic for this week, and I'm sending it to you right now because I just need to save time. Because right after this, we're playing Smite, and then I'm have to run training and stuff, and like then I have okay, to send emails yeah. afterwards. So I'm very limited on time. So I just yes. pre-made this, and I was I was very happy with it. <laughs> okay, I'm waiting for it. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> Man, that's that's what happens with Rule Thirty Four. Uh, oh yeah, fair enough. That's pretty yeah. good. <laughs> and then oh dude, uh, you got the you got the. I got the Colonel, Colonel Sanders. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> Originally, front and center, I had Pikachu with a big black rectangle in front of his hog to really like <laughs> signify what Rule Thirty Four meant. But I didn't want Nintendo's to sue me because they can get a little pissy. Nintendo's. <laughs> Nintendo and whoever else owns the rights to Pokemon. <laughs> Better enough, Game Freak, I guess. That's probably a part of Nintendo. Yeah. Um But anyway, Rule Thirty Four. I'll just like. Here's the thing, man. As I alluded to earlier in this uh, podcast, I grew up a nerdy guy. All right, I was oh, raised. Lord. Is this a confession? I was raised. No. Okay. I've been pretty open about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was raised on the internet. My dearest mom and dearest dad did their best to try and make me a good old wholesome boy, but I saw the future, and I knew the future was digital and it was Titties. online. And so that's where I went, dude. And I, you know, I searched every nook and cranny of the internet. And I have to say, Rule 34 is probably the best <laughs> part of the internet of all time. Can you define Rule 34 for our listeners just in case they're listening to this for the first time and they're kind of like, oh, what's that about? We're not delinquents like you're in an AJ. I mean, you only found out about this yesterday, AJ. So yeah, but, yeah, but it's not like it's not like I hadn't been in. It's not like I hadn't been involved with it or seen it or explored it or whatever else. I just didn't know I had a fucking name to it. All right, so Rule Thirty Four is basically drawn porn. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it doesn't have to be drawn, right? Like it it's, could be like three yeah. D rendered or yeah. like. But it's just it's the concept uh, that if it exists, there is a porn version of it. Yes. Yes, that's exactly right. That's that's, that's that's a better description I could have given it, honestly. Uh, and to be but, honest, when I was looking up Rule 34, and there's no space, it's Rule Immediately 34, just so you don't get confused. Yeah. Literally everything. Make sure to Google uh, it. Scooby-Doo, Pokemon, yeah. um, Among Us. like Natalie Portman. Natalie Portman. <laughs> uh, KFC. Yeah. The, 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 the fast food there, chain. Dude. There's a, Colonel, Binks. there's a Colonel Sanders dating sim. I'm, yeah, but the dating sim isn't like Rule 34. The dating sim is an actual game. It doesn't end in fucking? I don't, 
I probably can. Then rule 34. <laughs> put it put it in the bag. <laughs> but anyway, rule 34, if I would like to give it like a proper title, like to describe it to my heart's content, I would say it is the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> okay, you could go there at any time and you can like not be on there for a while. Yeah, you know I mean, and then you come back to it. There's a whole bunch of new material for you to browse through. A whole bunch of new material for you to discover. Now you're referencing yeah. Rule Thirty Four like it's a like an actual place. Is there a specific a website that you're referencing? Yes, it's called Rule Thirty Four. <laughs> Holy shit! So it's actually a website. It's not just like a general. Yeah, it's Rule Thirty Four dot xxx. Oh, so I didn't know the actual thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's got that dating sim ad on either side of it. Yeah. I'm I'm searching. Let's look up um, wrestling. <laughs> there is a lot. Yes. That's awesome. So the thing is, right, because, like I said, I grew up on the internet. <laughs> this is... I grew up a nerdy guy. I grew up on the internet. Yeah, you know I mean? Uh -huh. So you get exposed to sexual stuff pretty quickly once you start, like, browsing the internet, even just, like, for a little bit. You know what I mean? So regular sex and all that kind of stuff gets boring really quickly. So where do you go then? You sound like Jake the Snake in Beyond the Mat. <laughs> Start out with one girl and two girls, three girls, three girls and a little person. Try to try to go home, make love to your wife. Ain't no way. I mean, that's how it is though. Yeah, I mean like you're just a bright-eyed little kid, and you show up on fucking Pornhub, and you just watch everything on the front page. You know, like that stuff is immediately boring to you. Like you're, it fucking numbs your senses or whatever. I just, um, I just looked up cars, and this is what came up. I need to show it. To you. <laughs> okay. I need, like, I didn't think it would happen, and it did. Okay. It's literally the main character for the animated movie Cars <laughs> fucking a tree with boobies. Hell yeah! Dude. It's See, the most I'm talking about. It's the most baby. ridiculous shit I've ever seen. Also, I love now that we can do the podcast and I can search the internet, and it doesn't fuck the stream up. Yeah, that is pretty nice, actually. Big shout out but, to um, good old boy Benjamin. But yeah, like I said, like you just get bored of all the regular plane stuff. You know, like I can't even begin to say how many times I've gotten bored out of my mind while having sex. Yeah. You know? Oh my god. And then I got to like distract myself. I got to think of something else and my mind like my mind wander wanders, you know. It usually wanders to rule 34. You know what I mean, like I remember having this same conversation with Andy Jackson huh? for a full day <laughs> where he was just like, "What do you mean? What do you mean yearn? You just have like you just have sex with a beautiful woman. That's great. I'm saying it's like I'm going Andy down. Jackson, the... Andy Jackson, you don't understand, dude. Real women don't have tentacles, all right? <laughs> I'm going down the red hole. I'm just sending you pictures now that I'm finding. This is awful. <laughs> this is awful. Fuck yeah, that one's great. <laughs> I can't do this. I can't believe I've discovered this now. This is awful. <laughs> it's the best, dude. Like, but like, I was, I was gonna say, like, real women don't have tentacles. Real women aren't like like I'm into jacked women, but on Rule Thirty Four, they're jacked women. I'm looking yeah. up jacked women. I mean, they're now. drawn, but still, um, you know. So it just completely like it goes to every extreme in your mind sexually, and it visualizes that sometimes in better ways than others, but. <laughs> And that's the beauty of Rule 34. <laughs> I'm I think hesitant I... to put a link to this website in the description of the podcast. If you don't do it, I will never be on the podcast again. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm sending you another one because I'm just, this is it's fucking awfully hilarious to me. Yeah, it's, dude, it's the best. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> Dude, how can you not love that? Oh my god, now I'm looking up Dragon Ball Z. See, real, real women don't have forearms. 
They don't have bunny ears, dude. It's the best. Oh, you have to do underscores. That's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I, yeah, that's, I just saw uh, a picture of 18 cheating on Krillin with Goku. Hell yeah, dude. Like actual, artists. yeah. Some of the artists are actually like super talented. Which Play, like I've taken a word like, hey, man, you could take your talents elsewhere and just draw some money. <laughs> to be fair, it probably like they probably make decent bank on it. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of perverts on the fucking internet. So like, especially nowadays when you have like Patreon and that sort of thing. That's true. Like those artists can, they can fetch a pretty penny, but um. Yeah, like, I've been on Rule 34 so many times over the years. I, like, I, c I couldn't even tell you, you know? So, this is, a, uh, this is a whole new thing for me. <laughs> so, obviously, I'm amused. I mean, like, I, I feel like I've said my piece, but I feel like this is kind of the same thing as, like, last week where you were talking a bunch of shop about educational tv and i didn't really have anything to say except like that like jackass yeah same i'm uh, i'm i'm just you you know fucking teach kind me of some drawing a blank here yeah because yeah. like this is like a one-way conversation where i just like i love rule 34 i've grown up on it you know i found a so fucking, i found a video <laughs> and that yeah there's videos as well there's also like video like there's like you said like some people are actually really talented where i've seen like videos on there of like 3d models that people have rendered like th them being animated and stuff that's actually really good like it's, like it's actually really well done like i didn't think there would be videos i thought it was all pictures oh Fair this enough. one's this one's hilarious okay well this you gotta send good. it to me again yeah. even though the people at home can't see it aj when i send it to you i'm gonna need you to describe it for the audience Okay, well, it's, I'm waiting. It's sent. Okay, so there's Krillin. It's kind of in the South Park style, I feel like. It's Krillin in the front in his pimp suit when he got a bunch of money. And then there's 18 around the corner getting... Um, <sighs> getting <laughs> pleased sexually from behind by... A shirtless man with like a Caesar haircut, like where it's the bald head, but the hair on the sides. And then in the background of that, on the outside, Master Roshi is having a nosebleed. And above Master Roshi, it says, Ugh! <laughs> so, yeah. There it is. Krillin's just counting his dollar dollar bills, just getting paid. Yeah. Getting paid, not getting laid. Now I got a Krillin lifestyle. Oh, you, me. oh wait no you sent even more or no i didn't i'm just i'm going down the rabbit hole now like what have you done uh, okay i mean like i feel like we need to wrap up the podcast now aj like no no this is too much fun no i'm just kidding <laughs> uh but yeah uh i mean you. i feel like i've said my piece yeah i mean i feel like everybody should feel inspired right now to go check out rule 34 if they haven't already rule 34 dot x x x only if you're 18 plus i don't want, i don't want anybody's parents calling me because well some kids listen to a podcast they shouldn't have and they start looking at smut i mean like if you're not 18 plus you technically shouldn't be listening to this podcast true true this because is because it's for adult audience i very specifically label it explicit when i upload it damn it yeah but yeah. i was on rule 34 before i was 18 so oh shame Big surprise there. <laughs> Not at all. But uh, a young man on the internet being horny. So yeah, I would like to <laughs> first and foremost say, Yern, thank you for coming up with the poll topics this week. It, could you yes. do it again next week? Sure. Because I think you knocked it out of the park personally. <laughs> so maybe <laughs> you take you. over it for a couple weeks, and then I'll get re-inspired and I'll do it. But for now, uh, thank you everybody for joining this week. Thank you, Yern, again for the poll topics. Thank you for sending no me down problem. this deep dark Anytime. rabbit hole. That is going to consume my life for the next, uh, you know, several hours until Kelly gets back and has to pull me out of it, shake me, and make me take a shower. Happy to help. Uh, she no, comes, if, she, she comes back to your house and she runs into you like fucking Quagmire in that one. Uh... 
one family guy episode where he found out about internet porn <laughs> i just haven't seen the light in days yeah i have like a huge bull i already have a beard my hair's grown out and it's long long again in a ponytail even though it's only been like yeah. 18 hours you have one huge arm <laughs> <laughs> yep oh god well thank you guys and for anyone who didn't know uh we are going to, I'm going to end the stream here so I can download everything, but uh, we're going to be back on in just a few moments playing Smite together with some of the boys, yes. so we're all going to be live, so check out your respective channel. Oh, I'm not going to go live. Oh, you're not going to go live? No, I don't know if the others are either. Okay, well, I'm going to go live, so I'm just going to need <laughs> five to ten minutes. I'm going to stay on the phone with Yern, though. Uh, I'm going to use the bathroom. We're going to get everything set up. If you guys are listening to this on the podcast and this doesn't necessarily have anything to do with you and you're kind of zoning out, you can always join in and watch our streams at twitch.tv slash thecrowntwitch or twitch.tv slash Yern Simmons and Absolutely enjoy respectively. But until next time, guys, thank you for joining in. Uh, Please leave a review, five stars, whatever you feel like doing. Come follow us on the YouTube at game or sorry, shit, Crown Gaming YouTube.com, which is another place you can listen to the pod. Please follow Yurin Simmons on YouTube at youtube.com slash Yurin Simmons. Yes. Uh, and of course, you can follow him everywhere at Yurin Simmons. You can follow me everywhere at Pain Prince James. And of course, the Twitch Twitter is the Crown underscore gaming. Thank you, everybody. Freya says she's going to leave a four star review, and I think that's very rude, but thank you because it's still <laughs> better than three stars. Uh, thanks, guys. Have a good day. <laughs> it's also better than one and two stars, AJ. But yes, thank you. Bye. <laughs>